everybody it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to do a video that's just a little different than I normally do um, my channel is kind of uh, branching uh, I'm still doing beauty still doing makeup and skincare and beauty but I've added in jewelry I've started a jewelry reselling business and I'm gonna add in some fashion and things like that just I think they all kind of go together so today's video is I'm going to show you how I clean and take care of my nice purses, uh, my leather purses. I've pulled out three to show you. Uh, I have a whole bunch more to do, but I just, I pulled out three uh, to go and show you. Um, I have my Dooney and Burke here. I love this one. Um, I'm going to... What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to uh, condition these straps and clean the hardware on it. And uh, it is mainly, um, it just has leather accents. And then it's this, um, I forgot what they call this. It's, anyway, it's the same like on the, um, like on uh, Louis Vuittons, which... I have my Alma bag here that we I'm going to I think this is the one I'm going to work on on camera but I'm gonna do all of these today because this one needs some brass work done um, this is my oldest purse uh, but there is a little little piece of a leather inside my inside pocket and that little tag of leather tells me where my bag was made. Um, it has a VI and I know that means it's made in France and then it has a four digit number and bags produced before 2001 have these, they, their tags look like this. Now the tags look different in bags. Uh, if your bag tag looks different that could be mean it's a newer bag or it could mean it's an older bag and I would uh, say go online and search but um, my bag I happen to know from that tag the first and the third number is the month it was made so that's one and zero that means it was made in October the second and the last number <laughs> is the year so it was made in 1999 so I happen to know that <laughs> Uh, but um, if you're unsure but you can authenticate a bag that way um, I have lost I have lost my lock after all these years I've lost the lock to this I have toyed with buying a lock on like Poshmark they're not cheap Poshmark or eBay so I don't know but yeah my lock is gone I don't think I need to I'm zip it all the way. So I want to, this one is in overdue for uh, cleaning and of uh, conditioning. And then the last one I have is my uh, Kate Spade and it needs cleaned. It definitely needs cleaned. This has the most leather on it. This is like all leather and it's dirty. The inside is looks great, but the, the inside inside's fine um, but my outside it I'm gonna go over it and I might show you some clips of that too but what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to mainly focus on my uh, Louis tit uh, on camera I have some Brasso now this uh, t is to clean the hardware on my bag and I have some q-tips for that and then I have this. This is uh, the Cadillac Boot and Shoe Leather Lotion, but it works on uh, purses too. It cleans, polishes, protects, and conditions. There we go. And it's for all colors of leather, vinyl, reptile, and other exotic skins. So what this does, it cleans and protects. So you apply it. I use a baby diaper. I use a cloth diaper. And you apply it liberally with a soft cloth, let it dry, and then buff it lightly. On patents and vinyls, wipe dry while still, while still damp. 
So, we are going to definitely condition the leather on this and just kind of wipe off. Um, I don't, what is this made of? I can't remember. But anyway, we're going to kind of wipe, you know, wipe that down. But you need to condition your leather goods at least once a year so you keep them going. You'll see old Louis like for sale and they're all cracked. That's because they wasn't well taken care of. And I would think if you're going to spend this kind of money on a purse or any kind of leather good, take care of it so it'll last longer. Because uh, these only get better with age, you know, unless you don't take care of them. So I'm going to change the camera positions and we're going to get started. Okay, I'm going to start on the bottom of my bag. I always start on the bottom because that's the part you don't, people don't really look at. And uh, if I think this, I haven't used this one before. I have used uh, saddle soap and then a different um, leather conditioner. So I am not 100% sure how this one that has two in one is going to work. So I'm going to put some on my baby diaper, like that, and there we go. Now, let's start, I kind of use like a, a circular motion to try to clean up. A lot of people claim they use um, uh, Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. That will take the finish off of your leather. And to me, I think that'll make it dry out quicker. This is not really getting a lot of dirt off. But I do keep my purse kind of clean. It's It looks the way it does because of of its age. Now, and I've had it for so long that uh, some stains are just not going to come out. But at least I'm conditioning as I go. It's satisfying when you see a lot of dirt leave, but I don't think a lot of dirt is going to leave on this one. I think these stains have been there a while. And so, yeah, I'm going to let that soak in. I'm going to turn up on the side here and start. Okay, that's what my cloth's looking like. I don't know if you can tell. There is some dirt on there. I'm going to move to the handles, get some more cleaner. Again, here we go. I really want to work in this area because this is where a leather will wear out quick, and I really want that conditioned. There, now we can see some dirt because oils and dirt from your hands get on these handles more than they get on um, the bottom of your bag, especially when you don't put the bag in the floor. I am real picky. I don't put my purses in the floor. So yeah, this purse wasn't that dirty to begin with. And right now during uh, the shutdown, I'm not going anywhere. My purse is just sitting there. It's just sitting and waiting.
Okay, I think that's um, as good as I'm going to get that right now. The a lot of the look of it is just age. It's just age. So what I will do is I will go back probably tomorrow and buff the leather parts um, and uh, just kind of clean that all. I'm just going to kind of wipe off. I think I'm actually going to use what's left on here and just wipe the vinyl down. Or it's not vinyl, but you know what I mean. You can see that makes it look nice. That's real nice. There we go. Now, let's move on to these this hardware. Let me get the Brasso. Now the Brasso, shake well, soak a clean cloth or sponge with Brasso, apply, apply to metal, repolish with a soft dry cloth. For heavy tarnish, rub gently to loosen badly discolored areas not for use on silver lacquered painted or antique finished surfaces so I'm gonna shake it up real good and I'm gonna work on this I don't know that might be my finish is just gone on there but we're gonna we're gonna clean it up a little bit let's see if we can get it cleaned up I'm putting it on a q-tip and then Yeah. Oh no, it's cleaning it up. Do you see that? I hope you see that. Oh yeah. See. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. So there you guys, there you go. I've got it cleaned. I wanted basically to work on these handles and these work great on these pull tabs or whatever you, these. <laughs> I wanted to get those 
and that brasso works good on that and then this I have not done brasso before this was new for me but I have done the conditioning of the leather so but yeah it works great and it looks so much better so guys I hope this helped you with your own purses you can you can uh, clean and condition your your purses and your your shoes and whatever leather goods you have your wallet so guys if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel I would love it if you would uh, subscribe any questions or comments leave them down below and I will see you next time thanks for watching